Okay guys, welcome to the garden. Check that out. I was nominated for this uh, new chain letter going, <laughs> no, don't take them. For this new chain letter thing going around. Uh, garden disasters, what is your worst garden disaster? And I really don't have a worse garden disaster. My garden is always a disaster. That's just a part. That's just a part of growing. You know, things don't always work. What worked this year might not work next year. What worked last year didn't work this year. <laughs> that's just a part of growing. You know, that's why you don't do just one thing. So garden disaster, I don't really have one. There's lots of things that don't work. Uh, I planted corn this year. Full bed of corn, I only got four come up. Out of those four, they all made one, one uh, corn each. So I didn't get much out of that. Was that a disaster? Not really. I use the garden space for something else. Uh, we get a lot of crazy weather here. A lot of wind. Wind can do a really bad job on a on a garden. We get a lot of rain. I'm going to put a roof on, over my garden, and I haven't done it. The rainy season will be here soon. Last year it rained from March till October. Was that a disaster? Wow, it killed a lot. It's bad for the small stuff. You know, my garden is raised beds. So, uh, it doesn't really flood, but they do flood, you know. They just, it takes a little while for the water to go, to drain away. But if, if it only happens for a short period of time, it's not a big deal. Like I said, last year was insanely wet. Like I think gardening and disaster, and as long as you keep trying, how can it be a disaster? Things don't work, that's normal, you know? The only way it's a disaster is it takes away your faith in, in your own ability to do it. If you stop gardening, then that's a disaster. If you stop trying, yeah, that's the disaster. The thing about gardening for me is at least a large percentage of your garden should be stuff you know is going to do well. I always tell new gardeners, do what your neighbors are doing. If it works for them, it should work for you. If you want to grow other stuff that they don't grow, something a little more exotic or different or unusual because you saw it on a YouTube video that's fine but don't make your, your experimental garden any more than 10% of your space because chances are it's not going to work <laughs> you know if nobody else in your area is growing it there's a good reason for it you know it might just be because it's not available to them or maybe it's because it won't grow in your area and it seems like you know some people just can't grow certain crops like I had uh, passion fruit and I gave away a bunch of passion fruit seedlings and nobody got anything successful out of it and I had more passion fruit than I knew what to do with it was everywhere it became <laughs> it became an invasive plant and nobody else around here could get it to grow same plants all come from from the same seeds you know the seeds I saved out of one fruit I grew them and gave them away nobody else had any luck with them I had a, an awful pile. We were giving away basketfuls every day. <laughs> it's just how it is. It's just the nature of growing. 
But like I said, garden disaster? Nah, not really. I think most of my seeds are going on the ground. These are pak choy. Pak choy seeds. Saving seeds is an interesting thing too. It's a good idea to save your own seeds, that's for sure, if you've got the space. At least save the easy ones, you know? Beans and tomatoes, stuff like that. These are tiny, tiny. Can't even show them, they're so small. You see those? Just little specks. I know uh, that's not really a disaster video because, like I say, disaster is just a, in your head. Yeah, things don't work sometimes. Let's try again. I planted beets three times this year. The first one did well. Harvesting now, actually. The second batch germinated good. Something ate them. The third batch didn't even germinate. All from the same seed packet, you know? Why did that happen? It's the mysteries of gardening. <laughs> All right, guys, well, that's it. I will not be nominating anybody for this. I think these <laughs> these things are like like the old chain letter, you know? If you don't keep it going, it's gonna be bad luck. Never really got that. Never really agreed with it, that's for sure. All right, guys, as always, thanks for watching. There we go. Nice and full of pak choy seeds. Amazing how small they are, huh?